In the world of data science and machine learning, quite a few times we need to do repetitive tasks. To give you an example, let's say you have customer data and you have customer date of birth in the data. If you want to extract customer's age from the data, you need to subtract the current date from the date of birth to get the age. And this needs to be repeated for all the customers. So this is an example of repetitive task. The smarter way of doing repetitive task in Python is loop. So what are loops? Loops are used to do repetitive task smartly in Python. Welcome to Unfold Data Science. This is Aman and I am a data scientist. In this video, I am going to talk to you everything about Python loops. So let me show you in my screen how to write loops and what is the usability of loops. So let me walk you through loops in Python. So in this particular notebook, I will walk you through what is meant by conditional statements, what are loops, what are for loops, what are while loops and how to use these loops and then we will recap everything. Okay. So let's see first of all what is a conditional statement. Okay. So a conditional statement is used to run a piece of code after checking a condition. So I have just written here a piece of code you can see here I have declared two variables a and b. Okay. So a is holding a value 12 and b is holding a value 120. Okay. And I am saying here if b is greater b is equal to a then print a is equal to b if this is not true then print a is not equal to b so how this code block is executed is a and b gets declared here and then control comes here and this condition will be checked b is equal to is equal to a means this is a conditional operator so it will check the if the condition is true or no so here b is not equal to a hence code will not go here rather it will come out and come here okay so if i run this entire piece the result is a is not equal to b if we make this 12 then this condition gets satisfied or this condition when it is checked the result is true hence code comes here execution comes here and this gets printed so a is equal to b is getting printed so this is an example of conditional statement so what is a conditional statement when you run a piece of code based on a condition so in this piece i am checking this condition if this is true then run this part if this is not true then run this part so this is a conditional statement okay let's come to understand what is a loop a loop is a sequence of instructions that is continually repeated until a certain condition is reached okay so if there are sequence of instructions given to python and we as a programmer want those instructions to keep executing until a condition is met that is called loop okay so two main types of loops in python are while loops and for loops we will see both of these with an example so let's see here how to write a while loop now this is an example of while loop that you see on the screen now here let's see line by line first line i am just declaring a variable i i am calling that i is equal to 1 so I'm just initializing a variable i with value one. Okay. And if you come here, I'm writing while, while is the keyword here for while loop. And I'm saying while i less than six. So I want to check this condition. And then what I want to do inside the loop, I want to print i. Okay. And once i is printed, then I want to increase the value of i by one. Okay. So what happens is when this loop start executing, in first iteration the value of i will be 1 so 1 will get printed okay and the value of 1 will be increased to 2 so next iteration 2 gets printed third iteration 3 gets printed fourth iteration 4 gets printed and 5 gets printed but in sixth iteration when condition is checked i less than 6 this condition is not true and hence the control does not come to print and loop is halted okay so whatever we discussed in the dis uh, definition of the loop loop is it executes a set of statements until we want it to execute and a condition is met okay so when i become six this condition is met and hence the execution of the loop halts okay so i'm saying run if i make this 10 then it will run till 9 okay because till 9 the condition is satisfying this condition is satisfying so this is how we write a while loop now in any loop be it for loop or while loop there are some con uh, some commands in python that is used with loop for example there is a command called break 
so what break does is at the moment break is encountered in a loop it will exit the loop and nothing else will be executed in the loop okay for example this this code block is same as this code block just that i have inserted a condition here saying if i is 3 then break okay and when i am running this whole piece what you can see here is first iteration done fine second iteration done fine third iteration i gets printed but at the moment it checks i is 3 then break is encountered and hence the loop breaks or it does not execute further so the use of break statement is loop will not execute further okay let's see how for loops are written in python so in for loops we can use for loop with a list like this so here i have created a list color is equal to red green blue okay and then i'm saying for x in color so every time this loop runs x will take one value from this list okay so what value x will take in first iteration red in second iteration green and in third iteration blue so when i run this entire thing red green blue is getting printed so in this for loop all these values are coming one by one in x and getting printed we can do lot of things for example i am saying print i can also say print length of whatever is the value or whatever is the uh, value coming here right so i can say print len and x so it will not give me the original red green blue rather it will give me the length so as you can see red is having length 3 and green is having length 5 and blue is having 4 so a lot of things can be done in this for loop only alternate way of writing for loop you can also write for loop with a range function now what is a range function let me show you if you write a range 2 to 6 it will just give you numbers between 2 to 6 so it is not printing here the meaning is 2 3 4 5 okay so for printing also i can say for i in range so same thing is happening here for x in range 2 to 6 print x so it will start from 2 and print till 6 so it will not print 6 that is what range function does similarly you can use for loops with list and tuples and other uh, you know python data types to use it in a better way now let's see a simple use case of for loop okay so here i am declaring a list here student marks okay and these are the marks of five students out of 20 marks obtained by students in a class out of 20 okay now suppose i want to calculate the percentage marks from these marks okay so i'm creating an empty list here and then i'm running a for loop here i'm saying for i in student marks which means i will take all these values one by one when i run this for loop okay and then i'm saying percentage marks which is an empty list now percentage marks dot append i divided by 20 into 100 i am just calculating the percentage marks out of 20 for all these students okay so when i run this loop what will happen is in first iteration 7 by 20 into 100 that gets added in percentage marks list in second iteration 12 by 20 into 100 that gets added into percentage marks so if i run this entire code then in percentage marks list which was blank till now it will have values like this okay so 7 is 35 percent of 20 12 is 60 percent of 20 and 13 is 65 percent of 20 and so on okay so this is how we can use loops for you know repetitive task and uh, doing multiple things in one shot so in one command we are calculating percentage marks of all the student in this example okay so just to reiterate what all we discussed so what are conditional statements if we want to execute a piece of code based on some condition what are loops loops are used to do a specific task repeated number of times until a condition is met and then we saw a simple use case of calculation of percentage marks using original marks from loop so this is all about loops in python your comments are my motivations don't miss to drop a comment if you like this video. I promise to bring more videos on data science and machine learning in near future. Share with your friends so that they are also benefited. I'll see you all in the next video. Till then, take care.